September 3rd, A Word in Season to the Weary by Brother Bok Singh. Avenge me of mine adversary, Luke chapter 18 verse 3. In God's word in Luke chapter 18 verses 1 to 8, we are made to see the secret of effective prayer life. The Lord compares us to a widow and himself to an unjust judge. From this portion we learn how our prayers can be fully answered by the living God. Though it takes a long time to receive answers to our prayers, surely they will be answered if we ask persistently. The secret we see here is, the poor widow is sure of her right. It was not a false case but a just one. That constrained her to go to the judge again and again. We do not know what the case was. Maybe she had some property which was taken away by force by some relatives or her neighbors had occupied her land unlawfully. But she had no doubt about her claim to the property and so she took her case to the judge. When we pray, we should be right in our prayer, and also we must be sure about what we pray. Then we cry to the Lord, and surely he will answer even though he may delay to do so. Those who are not born again have no claim over God. Whatever they receive, they receive because of God's mercy. They have no right. But those who are born again have a right. We, as God's redeemed children, have a strong claim over Him. We must know how to claim our right over Him and call upon Him effectively. We as God's people have to believe that we are very precious to Him. We are God's peculiar treasure. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure, Psalm 135 verse 4. We are chosen by God himself for a great purpose. Our lives and our claims are very precious in his sight. The value of God's treasure can never be estimated by human wisdom. It is very precious because the Lord Jesus Christ purchased us to be his own by shedding his own blood. We may be weak and foolish in the eyes of people, but before God we are a peculiar treasure. With that assurance we can call upon God for all our needs and all our problems. But many of us go to Him as beggars without any assurance. God wants us to claim our rights as His peculiar treasure. Not only are we His peculiar treasure but also His hidden treasure. Matthew chapter 13 verse 44 as his hidden treasure we give great joy to our Lord. We ought to believe that we have the great privilege of bringing joy to our Lord, because of the great price he paid for us. We have to pray that our lives may be so lived to bring pleasure and joy to God. We are more precious to him than all the things upon the earth and all things under the earth. Believing in the fact that we are so precious to God, we can go to him in boldness and tell him our problems.